learning more about the two people killed in a violent crash in Franklin County last night. Yeah, we brought this story to you as breaking news on 10 News at 6 yesterday. 25-year-old Brittany Henrights of Roanoke and 32-year-old David Nash of Vinton died at the scene. 10 News reporter Arisha Jones joins us now live from that intersection with more about the pair and upcoming improvements to Route 122 and Hardy Road. Arisha. I'm told David was a father of, of five and he and Brittany, the driver of the car, had a three-year-old daughter together. Friends and family are mourning the loss of Brittany Henritz and David Nash. They both died at the scene of this car accident on Hardy Road and Booker T. Washington Highway in Franklin County Monday afternoon. Amanda Howard, the mother of two of Nash's children, says he goes by Frankie. She sent us this statement this afternoon describing him as loved by many. He was funny, sweet, and amazing father to our two children and his other three children. He would give you the shirt off his back. He was very genuine. The kids and I are still in shock. We just can't believe he's gone. According to state police, their Volkswagen Jetta was driving east on Hardy Road and attempting to make a left turn on Booker T. Washington Highway when it pulled into the path of a Toyota pickup truck going south. These are pictures of Nash with his 15-year-old son Bradley Nash and 14-year-old daughter Tessa Nash. Howard also sent us this video of Frankie playing with his youngest child, Elizabeth. Howard says she's the daughter Henrys and Nash had together. We went back to the intersection of the accident this afternoon. We saw several drivers not making a complete stop at the stop sign at the intersection. Drivers who travel this road tell 10 News they hope a traffic signal will be put in place to reduce the number of accidents at this location. According to the Virginia Department of Transportation, there were 20 reported crashes in a three-year period. VDOT tells us they installed intersection warning signs with flashers in both directions last month. A new project will also help improve both turning lanes on Route 122 by the end of next year. Two other people in the car, the front seat passenger and her three-year-old daughter, were taken to the hospital with serious but non-life-threatening injuries. Live in Franklin County, Arisha Jones, 10 News, working for you.